Alright. Hello and welcome to another installment of Comparative Reasoning. We're your hosts, Cedric and Cedra, and this is a new thing we're gonna do. CR reports the report. This one is on COVID-19 Evolves. This report comes from uh, CNN. So I will let Cedra take over since she's the one that found it. So, so um, I lost the CNN report and found the BBC report, but it's reporting the exact same thing. It's um, coming to you from BBC and it's not what you think it is. Hi. Huh? Um, so Denmark, I didn't know this, but Denmark is supposed to be the largest producer of mink, which is an animal that is uh, bred for fur. The largest producer of mink on the planet and a type of coronavirus was detected in their meat some of their meat farms and um when it was initially detected they were culling the farms then you know separating and only eliminating the infected minks but even with that being done over these past months they still have infections and the coronavirus has mutated in them and produce a strain that can infect humans. So, it's not the coronavirus, y'all. Just it's COVID nineteen because uh -oh. the flu, measles, mumps. That's calling um, it the coronavirus is, is is like you know just saying you know white people are Klansmen, and it's not all white people. It's the only the ones that are <laughs> or support them. So. And specifically, I'm going to read this site in the BBC report. It says the government report, which said the mutated virus has been found to weaken the body's ability to form antibodies, potentially making the current vaccines under development for COVID-19 ineffective. So bearing all this information in mind, the uh, country of Denmark has decided to cull, which means to kill their entire population of minks because it is their responsibility to keep their human population safe. That's between 15 and 17 million minks that they've already started culling. It started at the end of October and, you know, still doing it. You know, you're not going to kill off the 17 million minks in a day. It's going to take some time. Um, but yeah, that's what they're doing to pre prevent the spread of the mutated COVID-19 virus. Here in the U.S., uh, the largest mink supplier, they had discovered that, and I'm, I'm re recollecting this from the CNN report you, you said earlier, that, um, <clears throat> that what has happened is that the COVID-19, obviously it can spread to animals. Well, non-human animals, because we're all animals. You know, get off your high horse. But it got into the minks and it mutated that means it evolved that means it's a new far more powerful strain and that's getting this infected humans this which is how they're able to know what it does to the immune system originally COVID-19 they had only recently found in the past two months that after you've had it uh, or once you've been infected with it, about six months after it's gone or whatnot, the body has a severe increase in T cells. T cells create the white blood cells that combat all viruses and certain bacteria. So the body was trying to fight it, but since, <clears throat> in general, since we as people cannot abide by stay inside mask up glove up disinfect yourself do some serious social distancing since we can't do the bare minimum and wipe this thing out ages ago now it has found a way to mutate into something that we will not by any means be able to handle with it being able to shut down your defense systems it doesn't matter how many t-cells are made and white blood cells are made it's it, i mean this 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 is how we doom ourselves with it having mutated 
I think the threat is okay. So the COVID nineteen virus, as it stands, is what various countries and pharmaceutical companies are making vaccines for. But if it mutates, it can mutate and not be any more virulent than the COVID nineteen that's out now. But it's not the virus that they are preparing for. So that leaves it, that makes it a problem. Okay, you got vaccinated everybody against COVID this COVID nineteen, but if there's the mutated version out there, the vaccine's not going to make any difference, and you have to get a hold of this mutated version and then make a vaccine for that. And then you know how we are. Our rights, our constitutional rights. Therefore, you might as well just give up. Just you know what? If you believe in your constitutional rights, every single one of y'all should just stay in the same home for about a week. You know what I find interesting that a lot of the folks who are screaming about their constitutional rights or, or saying, oh, if they make a vaccine, I'm not taking it. It's the government trying to do ABC are the same folks who will stick their face in a gallon of gas and be like, mmm, the fumes, I'm so high. Or sniff airplane glue or shit like that. So you cook your brain with fumes and that's okay because it's well within your rights, but you won't take a vaccine that could potentially save your life. There needs to be a different kind of culling. <sighs> Sorry, everyone. To just, ugh. I'm not just. I'm not saying. <clears throat> I'm just saying. I gotta drink water because this cough is it, choking me off. And here's the thing. This new virus, basically, what it's going to be, because there's a chance that the mutated version will attack the original version. There's a chance. There's a chance that they might actually cancel each other out. But nobody knows. And nobody's going to know because with 230,000 people dead in the United States, the original COVID isn't slowing down because people are too stupid to stop it. Let's keep it real. People are too stupid to stop it. They're children that just want what they want. So when you get the second level of it, it's going to be even worse. I'm not saying this could be the quote unquote big one. However, they kill the minks and anyone that works with these minks stay absolutely isolated. That's all they have to do. Stay absolutely isolated and then get tested and stuff and see how this thing is working and hopefully they'll be all right because this isn't something they could have foreseen not at all so um let's just hope that they can do what no one else has wanted to do and that's keep your ass inside i mean you know even though the european country some european countries are seeing uh, a devastating second wave right now they were far more proactive in protecting their population than this country even when dealing with you know the minks they even the Denmark has been trying to kill off the infected minks for months it just hasn't been enough Spain has been doing the same thing the Netherlands have been doing the same thing but the, the thing is their populations of minks are far smaller uh, with Denmark being the highest producers in the world, they've got millions and millions. You know, Spain had 100,000. It's a, it's a big deal. That's a lot, but it's a big difference between in comparison to 17 million. So hopefully, Denmark will, you know, they seem to be responding the best way they can to preserve the lives of their own citizenry, and hopefully they'll continue to do so. What I need everyone to understand is that they've already known that the virus can be contracted into the pets of humans. Yeah, they're mammals. Yes. Not surprising. If you're a mammal, you're going to get it. So this means that already outside of this mink industry, months ago, COVID-19 has already been evolving in certain cases. It's possible. Not saying it is, not saying it isn't, but it's possible. And with that possibility is why you stay 
away from people you stay inside if you're sick you don't you you just don't social distance you just don't do social just period you know you want to talk to somebody man there's zoom skype and all kinds of stuff the issue is not the minx the minks could not get this if humans didn't allow them to get this. I need you all to understand that. You have to blame the source. You don't blame the people who have the job you didn't want. You blame the person that didn't take the job they didn't want. That's what you do. So while the minks population is definitely going to take a major hit and I'm talking about the farming ones to make the coats and all this other stuff they're going to take a hit but it's not going to stop it it takes people having the wherewithal and decency and empathy to keep their ass inside social distance wash your hands glove up mask up if you have to go out it's not hard so with this report things have only gotten worse and they're going to get worse until people can learn their lesson when the children grow up and start doing what they got to do then every other adult can finally live because I don't want to be a part of the death crowd because someone out there is just too stupid to do the right thing. There's nothing else to say. We've given solutions. Uh, we, we, we've addressed, reported, anecdote, solution. Everything that should be done with anyone reporting or doing journalism because I find it wrong that you can find a way to tattle but not a way to solve I find that wrong and disingenuous to society this has been Cedric Cedra for comparative reasoning thank you for listening <laughs>